hey, this is a, a an appeal to all Americans. Stop fighting whether you liked the idiot Bush or the spokesperson Obama. It has nothing to do with any of them. What it has to do with the federal government is giving the corporations money. They're bailing them out left and right. Then they say that we have a Save Our Homes uh, project that's supposed to help us with our interest rates. Have any of you guys tried it? Well, they want you to load down the forms, fill them in, and one person told me they have three people from Chase Bank going through them. So, And then one of them told me it's going to start in June. Then it's going to start in September. So the whole time, I'm paying more and more interest and probably going to lose my home like a lot of you have. But, you know, why aren't we in the streets protesting this? And then here's the other kicker. The only way you can get anything done in this country is if you have a good credit score. Well, we, I, have worked hard to maintain a good credit score. But now, the credit card companies are doing something so devious, and it's not right. Because the credit card companies should not be owning and running the credit score agencies. Because you know without a good credit score, your rates are up, you can't get the right car, you can't do anything without good credit. Okay? So you know how your your credit gets lowered? I don't know if you guys have been getting these letters, but the first one I got was from American Express Costco. We're a small catering company. Sometimes we get a big party and have to buy food for it. I had a sixteen thousand dollar limit. I paid it on time every time. Never missed a payment. Always paid more than minimum. So I got a check in and I paid $9,000 of my $16,000 balance. Oh, American Express. Costco was nice. They lowered uh, my balance down to $7,000 because I paid money off. Does that make sense to you? It does not to me. And then after I paid the next bit down because it pissed me off, they lowered it down to $1,000. So I want to say... F you, American Express. You're not standing by the American people. We have worked hard to maintain our credit limits. My credit score is 724. Okay, now Discover's the newest one. They have been begging me. I get a letter every week to try to do a dra balance transfer. They finally had a, a decent enough deal. I decided to utilize it, okay? And I get a letter today that they've taken down my uh, $14,000 credit line to 4900 and they say it's because the bureau reports too many bank card accounts with high balances guess what I do have high balances in my bank but they have been there for four years because when I bought houses during the time I utilized credit to fix them up to make them nice so I wasn't a slumlord okay so one thing you guys may not understand about your credit is when the credit card company lowers your balance or your line of credit and what you owe is anywhere near it, your credit score goes down. Now, that's not fair in any way. You know, they need to regulate the credit score agencies. They don't need to be run by the same people that are charging people up to 29, 30, 40% interest. You know, you don't hear of loan sharks anymore because... It's legalized now. It's credit card companies. And, you know, all you Bible people, look in your Bibles. It's called usury. People don't use that word a lot now. But usury is when Jesus went through and upset the money changer tables because it was wrong. It was wrong to take people's hard-earned money and charge an exorbitant interest rate on it. It's wrong. So you need to start fighting. You need to start YouTubing. We should be in the streets screaming. They're giving billions to a war that's not benefiting us. I don't know about the rest of you, but I heard Bush say this would not cost the Americans any money because of the oil. Have you guys heard that one lately? Has that been said? No. Wake up, Americans. This is your lives. If you don't have a credit score in this damn country, you have nothing. And our credit score was just lowered because 
Discover decided to lower our credit line, not because of any late payments, not one late payment. We paid off $20,000 of debt in the last six months without putting any more debt on the credit cards. So they don't have a case about that, but also they're not regulated, so they can do whatever the hell they want. So you know what, Americans, this should be your daily struggle and battle. You should be telling your commissioners, your president, this is not right and we won't take it anymore. This is Michelle Sertonio. Let's get off of our asses and start fighting for what's important.